I'm going to talk to you about annotation. I'm sure you guys know what annotation already means. I'm sure a lot of you have done this in your classes before. Um, we're going to maybe do it a little bit differently at the advanced level, but just to explain the basic concept, annotation means taking notes on a text and interacting with a text. Why do we do this? Well, when you actually write on your text, underline, circle, and make these kind of notes, it really helps you understand what you're reading, and it also helps you develop ideas, your own ideas about the text. Annotations become building blocks for longer, more meaningful writing. So if you're really marking up your articles or the book, you're going to be more prepared to write about it. So one thing that we're doing at the advanced level is we're looking at writing conventions. And I put a PowerPoint on the Moodle entitled Writing Conventions. It talks about identifying what the author is doing and how the author is using language to convey his or her meaning. So we're going to be looking for these things and annotating for these writing techniques uh, as a way, as a tool for you to comprehend and also um, to serve as a model for your own writing. So your homework this week is to read the whole article, The Health Toll of Immigration, and you're going to add your own annotations to this one document. I decided to change it. I was going to have you guys do this whole thing on your own, but I decided to make it a little bit easier, and I put you into groups of three, and you're going to be responsible for just a couple of paragraphs. So go to where you find your name, and you'll add in a different color. Make sure you write your name next to your annotations you will add your notes. So just Machiko, Tony, and Safi, for example, are doing paragraphs 10 through 13. I like splitting up the paragraphs this way because I think it's important for you to see how one another interprets the text and the different kinds of responses that you guys have to it. So let's look at this basic structure of annotation. On the left-hand side of the margins, right, this side here, we want you to write words that signify the author's purpose. So key words, body, intro, concluding techniques, use of punctuation. What is the author doing with punctuation to convey his meaning? How are, is he or she manipulating? the text with punctuation, or transi transition signals, or vocabulary, right? Any vocabulary you don't know, you can write in the margin. Um, main ideas, that goes along with the, these key points. You want to put those on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side is going to be more your response. So we kind of say the left side is the summary, uh, notes and the right side would be your response notes. On the right side you're going to want to put your reactions, your opinions, ideas that surprise you, ideas that you can relate to, ideas that you don't understand, and these are really really key. Remember that we really we want to hear your unique insight so this right side, the right side annotations are important in setting you up for a meaningful response and then later thesis. Okay, so now I'm going to model for you what annotation looks like for paragraphs one and two. So as I'm reading, a growing body of mortality research on immigrants has shown that the longer they live in the country, the worse their rates of 
heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Mortality. Mortality. What does that word mean? Hmm. Mortality. I think it relates to death. So it looks like it's investigating, this research is investigating the reasons for death. Um, and linking it to immigrants. That's a key keyword right here. I'm going to put that in bold. And they live in this country. The longer they live here, the worse their rates of heart disease, high blood. So these are all health-related. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so... I think the key idea here is that, um, let's see, immigrants who live a long time in the U.S. become sick. These are all sicknesses. I left out the most important line, which is the first line. As you guys can see, the first line of this article is, becoming an American can be bad for your health. I'm going to react to this. This line really, really hooks my interest. It makes me wonder why. And it makes me want to read more. So this is the author's hook. Becoming an American can be bad for your health. I thought America was a free and healthy place to live. So I want details about that. Okay, so let's keep going here. And while their American-born children may have more money, they tend to live shorter lives than the parents. So this is really surprising research. Um, so American-born children, I guess these are the children of immigrants. Um, they, so children of immigrants seem to be fine financially, but they're unhealthy, are even more unhealthy than their parents. Hmm. Strange. I'm going to have some more reactions here because my mind is really blown by what I'm reading. Um... First of all, let's look at these different diseases. Heart disease, high blood pressure, and diabetes. All of these diseases seem related to food. So I'm wondering if that might be a cause of, of their poor health. And I just really want to know more. I want more research. I want facts, right? All right, so I'm going to keep on reading. The pattern goes against any notion that moving to America improves every aspect of life. Pattern. So pattern is something, something that repeats. Notion. I'm going to look that up. I think these might be important words. Um, that is a belief. Okay, so most people believe um, moving to America improves your life, but this research seems like contradicts this idea. Okay, let's keep reading. It also demonstrates that at least in terms of health, worries about assimilation for the country's 11 million illegal immigrants are mistaken. In fact, it is happening all too quickly. Okay, so this sentence also has some big words here. Assimilation. So it demonstrates, it also shows that at least in terms of health, 
Okay, we're talking about the health of the immigrants. Worries about assimilation are mistaken. I need to put that into my own words. What does that mean? Assimilation means the ability to adapt. So we're worried in the States about 11 million illegal immigrants ability to adapt but they're mistaken okay so worries about immigrants adapting are wrong or misguided so I guess that means that these immigrants are actually really assimilating to American life. Maybe I want to know more. So why are, are we mistaken about or why are Americans mistaken about immigrants ability to adapt? That's a question, that's a reaction. I'm also noticing here that the author is bringing in a number, right? So there's a, a statistic here, 11 million. Okay, so this shows the author, authors typically use numbers or facts to show authority or research, right? Um, so that's a writing technique, and also up here, here's the counter-argument, right? The counter-argument is that most people believe that America uh, improves your life, but this article is actually turning that argument around, so that's called a counter-argument, writing technique. And I'm really surprised and kind of sad about this. Hmm. Let's go back down here to the last sentence. So, in fact, it is happening all too quickly. In fact, so in fact is kind of a transition word or a phrase used for clarification. It's good. I think I'll use that in my paper, in fact. In fact, it is happening all too quickly. A lot of authors use pronouns. What is the it referring to? It. I'm going to go back here. It looks like it is talking about assimilation. So actually, the immigrants are adapting really fast to American culture. So I think the immigrants are adopting all of Americans' bad behaviors, maybe. That's just my guess based on this reading. All right, guys. So you kind of heard me think aloud as I read. And I really dissected the paragraphs word for word. I'm looking at what the author's doing, how they're using language, the hook that they're using here, the, the different vocabulary words. You can underline, you can make them bold, okay? I wrote down the key, key ideas here and I reacted to the ideas over here. On the right side, this is going to fuel my response. This is helping me develop my opinion and my own ideas on the right side. So now it's your turn. Do the same thing. Read aloud. Read it many times. Look up the words. Really dissect and digest this information and put your thoughts onto the paper. So I'm looking forward to what you guys write. And if you have any questions, send me an email.